Hello everybody and welcome. Uh, today we're, this video is going to be about just the basics of uh, shaving with a uh, safety razor. Talked with a lot of people about shaving with a safety razor and um, most people express a little bit of fear about it. So I'm hoping to dispel a little bit about that fear. Now, to get a good shave with a safety razor, it's really all about preparation. I know in the past, I would just simply throw some of that uh, aerosol can gel or foam on my face and uh, reach for the disposable razor and just start shaving. And I always got a lot of uh, pulling and tugging and it was a little bit painful. Um, so we're uh, looking at a better way to shave today. Um, we're gonna be shaving with a Mercure 34C. Excellent razor, very affordable for the beginner. Uh, I think you can pick up one of these for about 40 bucks. Uh, it's the Mercure 34C, really good razor, and I have a feather blade in here. Now the blades, for, uh, when you're shaving with a safety razor, are really cheap. Uh, so if you're looking for ways to save money, uh, this is it when it comes to shaving. This is a feather blade, and you can uh, buy uh, sample packs of blades and try and find the one that works best for you. So I do have a feather blade in here, um, and again, shaving with a safety razor is all about preparation. I have a boar hair brush uh, soaking in some warm water here. This is the Omega 10066. Uh, it's a really good uh, boar hair razor, I'm sorry, brush, and it's about 10 bucks. So if you're looking to get started uh, shaving with a safety razor, uh, that'd be a good option for you. Now, uh, it's important to have a clean face. You don't want to try and shave with any uh, skin oils or dirt and things like that in your face. You really want to start off with a clean face. Now, if you've just taken a shower, your face is clean, the beard's hydrated, uh, you're good to go. Now, um, I've been using this one product here. This is, um, if you can see that, from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. This is, um, uh, against the grain ATG pre-shave soap and it's pretty cool uh, a little unusual looking but uh, you're gonna like it a lot and basically all you do is you just rub it against the grain you just rub that against the grain of your beard that's it now, you can use this just to wash the face because it is a, a soap. So I'm going to go ahead and wash the face. You'll see how quickly just the, this lathers up. Just rubbing it that little bit. Just those few little rubs and I've got quite a bit of soap here. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse this off. Now that the face is clean, you um, can also use this as a shave, uh, shave soap booster and you would just do the same thing just rub that on the face and shave but today I'm going to use uh, this is Parasso uh, pre-shave I really like this a lot very simple again you want a great shave it's all about the preparation um, you know, being a guy and uh, if you've ever uh, painted uh, any furniture or say if you're painting a car uh, you want to prepare the surface you know you just don't want to start painting something and not prepare the surface and this is what this is all about we want to try and get the the beard as soft as possible and with the safety razor it's all about cutting the hair right at the surface of the skin whereas with the multi-blade cartridge razors they lift the hair they lift and cut and that's where you get a lot of the uh, ingrown hairs um, because you're lifting that hair up uh, up above the surface of the skin and then it's withdrawing back in and then that's how you get the ingrown hairs all right so we're letting this sit in uh, I'm also going to be using uh, Parasso's uh, shave soap uh, very good product so we're going to get our brush we're going to not completely wring all the water out, but just get most of it out. We're going to go ahead and lather up. Just want to get this brush loaded up. Just run that around, and different, uh, you know, back and forth, and rotating circles. 
Um, so that's we're good to go there. Now I also have a lathering bowl. Now you can use uh, any bowl you want to. It doesn't matter. You can lather in any bowl. But I would suggest checking out this lathering bowl uh, from uh, Captain's Choice. It does have the ridges in the bottom of the bowl. It creates a great lather. So I'd recommend it with those. So I'm going to go ahead and lather up here. And you're just making uh, different circling motions, rubbing it back and forth. Add a little water if you need to. Not too much, just add a little water as needed. So we've got this lathered up, ready to go. Got a really nice lather here. Go ahead and add just a little bit of water to the face, not too much. Go ahead and lather up. We're gonna try and get those hairs lifted up. Only got about a day and a half of beard growth here, so. Uh, but you know, if you're one of those guys that only shave once a week, and you have a significant beard, I think you'll find that shaving with a safety razor is uh, more effective and less painful. All right, so we'll lab it up. Now, with the safety razor, you're gonna have to find the correct angle. Uh, now, when you're starting with the sideburns, you can place the razor perpendicular to your face. The razor will not be touching your face. Give it just a slight angle and you'll feel that blade on the face. And you don't want to put a lot of pressure. Uh, that is one thing that, again, shaving with these razors is just about technique and unlearning some bad habits. Uh, with the throwaway cartridge razors, uh, you can put a lot of pressure. With these, you don't want to do that. You don't need a lot of pressure. They're very effective without a lot of pressure. Uh, and you just go in short strokes. And just take your time uh, until you develop your technique. Now, I will say that this type of shaving May not be for everyone, if because it requires a little bit of patience. It requires some patience and just wanting to enjoy the process. Careful around the lip, and when you get to your chin, just roll the lip over. Create a flat surface. All right, to the other side burn, perpendicular to the face, give it a little angle and down. Everyone's face is different. Everyone's beard grows differently. It's going to take a, a little while to find the correct technique for your face. The point is to create the flattest surface possible. I have a pretty sharp jawline, so once I get to this area here, right at my jawline, I like to pull that up and create a more flat surface. So you want to, after the first pass, you just want to add a little bit of water. You don't want to rinse your face off, just add a little bit more water. And we're going to lather up again. Now on the first pass you got the majority of the uh, beard growth. So you don't really have to do so much with the circular motions to get it underneath the hair. Just paint it on. Now for the second pass, it's going to be a little different. 
because it's about beard reduction. So we're going to go cross grain uh, from the ear towards the mouth. Now that we're here, we'll do the same thing. Now once I get down to the neck, I go against the grain. Turn the razor over. Now, and if you have a distinct Adam's apple like I do, you might want to pull the skin over just a little bit. Some guys don't. They can just pass right over there without worrying about it. Here again, you want to create a flat surface. Go ahead and get ready for the third pass. Again, just a, a little bit of water. Already feeling a lot smoother. Again, I can't reiterate this enough. It's just about enjoying the process. It really is. Um, if you're one of those guys that just want to throw some cream on the face and shave real fast and get out the door, this might not be for you. But if you really want to uh, look into the world of wet shaving and all the cool products that are out there, this might be something for you. And you have to admit, <laughs> these just don't work as well as advertised. Uh, a double-edged safety razor is where it's at. So we're going to go ahead and lather up again for a third pass. We're going to go totally against the grain on the third pass. And it's going to take some time to develop the technique. Okay, third pass, everything should be nice and smooth. Now, sometimes you're going to miss some other little spots. So, you just re-wet again. You can feel around. See if there's any areas you might remember. What I like to do is uh, just load up the brush again and go ahead and pull that lather out of there. Go ahead and apply that directly to the face. And just feel around in any areas that you want to try and get a little bit closer. Now here uh, is what we refer to as feathering and you want to be careful, like if I got a spot right there, and get a little closer. If you're working on one spot and feathering, just remember, don't put a lot of pressure Just take your time and let the razor do its job. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up uh, with my cleanup pass here. All right, so finished with the cleanup pass. Now, on this last rinse off, we want to use cold water to close up those pores. The rest of this cream off. We're rinsing off with cold water. I think it's always important to finish off with a good aftershave. 
uh, that's got some astringent properties. Some have alcohol, get a little bit of that sting going that I enjoy. Um, but it, it's going to help close up the pores. It's going to help heal any uh, razor burn you might have gotten. Today I'm going to be using uh, a really nice product from Phoenix. Um, this is called Speakeasy. And it has a really great scent. And uh, I think you'll like it a lot. These you want to shake a little bit. And so we'll go ahead and apply a little of that. There's a really great scent to it. It smells good. Right, so after that, really, if you wanted to put any face lotion or anything like that on, you can. Um, but that's it for me. That is just the very basics of how to use a double-edged safety razor. Hope you've enjoyed the video. See you next time.